standing in front of the provincial capital of Batangas here in Batangas City and I'm honored, happy and excited. Today we're going to get the chance to get up close and personal with someone very special. Truly a proud Filipina. The star for all seasons, Governor Vilma Santos Recto. Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. This is Proudly Filipina. I'm Charlene Gonzalez Mula. Proud to be a Filipina. For three consecutive terms as the mayor of Lipa City, the award-winning actress found her true calling. And now she's on to greater things. From being the mayor, she is now the governor of Batangas Province. Hereby declare and proclaim Ms. Rosa Vilma Santos Recto as the governor-elect in the studies of Batangas. After winning in the May 21, 2007 local elections in Batangas, Vilma Santos, the star for all seasons, became the 22nd governor of the province and the first woman to hold the office. Her victory proves that she is not just an award-winning actress, but an award-winning public official. Ano ba talaga po ang maasahan ng ating mga kababayan sa ating pong pamahalaan? TV, congratulations for Thank being you. an outstanding mayor of Lipa. And Thank you. I'm a witness to this that talagang nagbago ang Lipa and all the Bat Batangueños are very happy because I'm also a constituent. I know! Yes. Mataas na kahoy. Mataas na kahoy. Yes. And people always talk about how much improvement you have done for Lipa. And they were very positive about you being the new governor here in Batangas City. Uh, siguro one thing if uh, I'm getting positive uh, feedbacks, uh, one thing I can tell you, it's not only because of me, uh, let's say, no mayor ng Lipa, but one thing I can brag about is uh, I was able to get the cooperation and participation of my constituents. So it's more of a teamwork. Governor V entered politics when she ran for mayor in Lipa City, Batangas, where she won by landslide victories for three consecutive terms. Ano bang typical day mo? Ako kasi ang klase ng gobernador na, well, I have all these paperwork, but uh, I'd rather go out. Mas gusto ko, ayoko yung report lang ng report. Na gusto ko yung nire-report nila nakikita ko. And uh, hands-on kasi ako, like, if I have this program, let's say health or education, I really go to every municipality and talk to these people and explain this project. Salamat po yan! But after seeing her passion and dedication to serve her constituents, the 2.3 million population of the province of Batangas have learned to love and respect their newly elected leader. But ATV Batangas in the in the past years is known to be a macho country. Exactly. Right? How did yes. they take you being a woman leader at that and the first woman governor ng province? I really had a hard time because babae na, maliit pa, and sometimes they underestimate actors. So, nag nagsasabi ako, maganda umaga po. Maganda. Eh, hindi ako pinapansin. Tinawag ka ba ng dayuhan? Di ba usually it's like yeah. that? So, yun ang, uh, uh, ang uh, anong tawag nito? Yun ang uh, kampanyang against me ang kanilang pinalabas talaga. Na, why trust somebody na hindi naman batang genyo? How, how can we expect na, ano yan, magmamalasakit yan? Eh, hindi naman yan batang genyo. After so many years, maybe after nine years, I was able to prove myself. Kahit na sabi mong barako country to, siguro, uh, isang pwede ko sabihin kung bakit nakuha ko yung kanilang uh, tiwala at respeto is, lalaki rin akong kausap kahit babae ako. Baka mas lalaki ba akong kausap kesa sa iba. <laughs> Tipil ko siya ang makakapagpabago sa Batangas, eh. kaya siya ang binoto ko. Tsaka isa pa talaga namang kita po ang pagbabago sa Lipa, kaya yun ang aking naging panuntunan para siya iboto ko. Si Governor Vilma is a clear-minded person. Kung meron siyang naiisip, meron siyang binabalak, uh, talagang nakatutok at nakafocus siya doon. Hi guys, I'm proudly Filipino. In a span of less than a year, Governor V has proven that she has what it takes to lead Batangas. Last August 27, 2008, the province of Batangas, under the leadership of Governor V, 
was awarded one of the top collection performers by the Bureau of Internal Revenue. As of August this year, based on its latest report, we have exceeded our local revenue collection target by 30% or 44 million. But no matter how hard she tries to be a good leader, ATV concedes that there will always be detractors. And part of being a public official that she has to deal with is the danger, like the death threats. How did you deal naman? Because I remember there was a time para yung drug bust and you had death threats. Was that a scary <laughs> moment sa buhay mo? I can't imagine isang babae going through something like that. Natakot ako. Ayoko na pumasok. <laughs> But you still Ayoko. went on. Yeah, ito nga. Alam mo ba ang in-encounter ko dyan? Ano nangyari? Ayoko na. Kinausap ko si Rav. Ayoko na. Ayoko na mag-mayor. It's not even worth it. Nanay ako, may anak ako. Paano ako? Hindi, ayoko na. Sabi niya, mag-leave ka muna and then think, of, uh, think about it. Tapos sabi niya, palagay mo. Dahil lang sa ganyan, sisirain mo yung tiwalang ibinigay sa'yo ng mga tao. Kasama nga ng trabaho namin yun eh, whether you like it or not. But, ang nakakapagpaganda lang ng loob ko, as long as you're, wala kang inaapakan tao, hindi ka naman kasama sa organisasyon na yan. Oh, I mean, you know, maganda ang intention ko. Now, Lord, I know if, alam mo maganda ang intention ko, hindi mo rin ako papabayaan. Eh, thank God. I mean, siguro, bilis niya ako. Eh, gobernador na nga ako eh. The interesting question is, when Ate V decided to enter politics, how prepared was she? Were the political shoes too big for her showbiz feet? As a child, ATV played in the streets of Tondo, Manila. It was there, a stone throw away from the slums, that this little girl nurtured her dreams. And later on, to become the star for all seasons. Before the Lights, awards, and politics. Ate B was a playful child in Tondo. She was second to the eldest child of the Santos family. What was your fondest memories as a child? Bata pa ako, maarte na ako, Shirley. <laughs> really? So you knew so ito magiging calling na. mo na gusto mo maging artista? Gusto ko talaga mag artista kasi... Mahilig ako makinig ng radyo, mahilig ako manood ng TV. Ginagaya ko nga si Pilita Corales, yung An Evening with Pilita ba yun? Yung isponga ng pulbo, nilalagay ko sa buhok, kiniklip ko. <laughs> Talaga? Oo, tapos kakakita ko ng silya, kukunin ko yung kumot, ibabalot ko sa akin yung ng gown ko. Tapos <laughs> kakakita ko ng silya, gagayahin ko si Pilita Corales. At magpo-posing ka ng ganyan. Oo, oh, oh, talaga. Far from shy and very vocal, Ate V persuaded her mother to accompany her to Sampaguita Pictures to act in a film, Anak Ang Iyong Ina. By some twist of fate, she was noticed by Doc Perez and was asked to audition for the role of the now legendary Trudis Liit. May mga nakalihin niyang mahabang mga bata, pati ako nakalihin niya. Sabi ng mama ko, hindi ka dyan, hindi ka dyan. Saan ko dito ko? E tama-tama nung papalapit na may nakita ko ni Dr. Perez, sabi niya, ikaw. Sabi sa akin, Just like ako, that? Yeah. Ako? Sabi ni mama ko, hindi ka dyan! Sabi ko, sige po. O, di pumunta ako sa gitna. <laughs> Pinaarte ako, di umarte ako. I heard you acted with Bella Flores. Yes, si Bella ang nag-screen na test sa amin. Ginaganyan-ganyan ako. Anong edi, ginawa mo? Edi iyak-iyak, tapos may binigay sa aming dialogue. Pagka sabi ko, dialogue ko, nag-adlib pa ako. <laughs> Do you still remember the dialogue? I don't, I don't, I'm sorry, I don't, but ang alam ko nag-adlib ako. Kasi non-stop si Bella Flores, e tapos na yung dialogue ko. Hala, hindi pa rin sagot ako ng sagot sa kanya. And then that same day, sinabi ni Dr. Perez, now I have my two this week. Now because of that movie, your first movie, you also got your first acting award from FAMAS, the best lead, yeah. child actress. Yes. How did you feel at age 9, umaakit ka sa stage at tumatanggap ka ng trophy? Masaya lang. Hindi ko pa naman kasi alam yung kahalagahan nun eh. Alam mo, ibig ko sabihin, <laughs> hindi ko alam that's, that's a, a prestige. Hindi ko alam na malaki matu... Hindi, basta sa akin, wow, nanalo ko, di masaya. Yan Ganun ba, Hindi ko alam yung kahalagahan ng mga awards. That time, I was only nine. What did you enjoy more doing? Shooting or playing yung mga child game, childhood games? Uh, or mas nag-enjoy ka sa shooting? 
sa shooting. Uh, although, pag may free time naman, na, 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 naranasan ko din maglaro ng patintero, uh, ano yung tumbang preso, text. Naranasan ko rin yan. Hindi naman ako na na-deprive sa mga... Uh, na na deprive sa mga bagay na yan. Na, na enjoy ko rin yun. But you went back to school. You went to St. Mary's Academy. Yes, What yes. was that experience like? Kasi sikat ka na, Vilma Santos ka na. Tapos, how did your classmates and your teachers treat you? Siyempre, may konting importansya ka. Alam nilang artista ka. Uh, may may pag absent ako may shooting may may konting understanding na <laughs> alam mo kasi sabihin hindi naman ako pinagigpitan even yung mga madre yung mga principals like lalambing ako na please naman because I'll be working ganyan ganyan please I'll be absent in two days ganyan ganyan ang gagawin niyo binibigyan ako ng makeup test even when I graduated high school nung time nang graduate na dapat hindi ka absent eh nag-absent ako alam mo binigyan nila ako ng test mismo doon sa ano sa retreat house, doon pinapunta yung DepEd, kumabol akong kumuha ng exams just to get my, uh, ano, my, uh, and then my finals and also my diploma. Balancing school and show business was not an easy feat. But the bigger challenge came when Ate V became a teenager. She was now ready for more meaty roles. It was William Larry, the late William Larry, yung parang naging manager-manager ko rin noon, na nagsabi sa akin, sabi niya, maputi ka, <laughs> maganda yung katawan mo. I think of something, by this time, dapat ang karir mo, hindi na lang puro pa sweet-sweet. So, when Bullis Queen was offered to me, and then it's a ch challenging script and role, sabi ni William Larry, kunin mo yan. And then, ayoko, kasi nga, It's a burlesque dancer. And Celso Ad Castillo, sabi nila magaling daw na director yun noon. So, but I took the risk. After Celso Ad Castillo's burlesque queen, Ate V indeed became a serious actress. More and more projects came her way, but despite the fame and glamour, she never took her studies, family, and talent for granted. She bloomed into a beautiful woman right in front of the audience's eyes. 